Hello world and welcome back. In the previous video, we talked about click listeners in Recycler Views, and today we are going to stay in the context of Recycler Views by exploring another very common scenario, loading images. With that as a trigger, we will talk about context, GUD classes, the law of Demeter, and more. So get ready. Now, my favorite image loading third-party library is called Glide. Super popular, haven't looked at any graphs or data, but probably the most popular one that I've seen used in the wild at least. To load an image using Glide is pretty simple in its basic form. You simply write Glide with context, passing the context that we are in, and we will touch on this later in the video as to which context that should be, then dot .load, passing the URL or the local resource that contains the image file, and finally into image view, which is the image view that you will load that resource in. Pretty simple, right? Great. This is also super easy in the case of an activity or fragment using the keyword this when inside an activity or get context inside a fragment in the with static method. So that's a no brainer. In Android, activities and fragments are GUD classes, which is a term that we use when a class has had a bit too much responsibility. And of course, context is a GUD class as well. This is unfortunate design in the Android framework, in my opinion, violating principles such as the single responsibility principle and the list of substitution principle, among others, which, by the way, we have covered in the Solid series linked in the description. As we were saying, since activity extends context, there is no way and no need to separate them, so we accept it and move on. But what about the case of other classes that we use? For example, our beloved recycler adapters. They have no reference to context by default. So when we have to use a library that needs context inside an adapter, our option is to pass it from the outside. And the most common way to do it is, of course, using constructor dependency injection. Again, very common scenario and syntax. Then, in the onBind method, we simply write the usual sequence of glide and we are done. If we perform that simple injection, we can use glide everywhere. And honestly, I see no serious problems with that. However, as software engineers, we should always keep an eye for when there's a better way of doing things. And in this case, there is. To begin understanding where the problem is, we have to talk about something called the law of Demeter. Yeah, I know, another cool term in our lives, I simply cannot get enough. The law of Demeter, or also known as the principle of least knowledge, basically states that classes or modules should have only limited knowledge about other classes or modules. Or more specifically, they should know as little as possible in order to function, nothing more. Think about it, this makes perfect sense. The less a class knows, then the less side effects it's going to have, and the more you will be able to control the functionality. So let's see it in the example of us passing context to our Recycler View adapter. By passing context, we have just given to our adapter the keys to almost everything in the Android world. By accessing context, you can then access everything you may need, since context is a GUD class. Now, you may think that, okay, what's the problem? I may pass context, but I swear not to use it for any other reason than to instantiate Glide, I promise. Well, I believe you, but where will you be in six months? What if somebody asks you to access shared prefs as well? I mean, you're so close, all you need to do is Preference manager, dot get default shared preferences, passing the context that you have, and then you're done. In a time sensitive situation, it's super easy to just do that, to give in, but would you stop and consider if that even is the right place to do that? And what if it's not you, but someone else, months from now, and they have taken over your project? Would they know your intentions? Our code should be expressive and deliberate. If you passed context, then there must be a reason to do that, right? But well, no, because there is no reason to pass context in this case, but we just did. 
Okay, so what's the proper way in this case? Let's apply the law of Demeter. If instead of context, we were to pass a request manager instance, and this would be ready to go, then in that way, we can control that our adapter will never start, start leaking responsibilities and become an unmaintainable monster. A request manager, by the way, is what the static with method creates and uh, that we use to chain calls. We can apply the law of Demeter to every class to make sure that we have not provided more than it needs to function. Doing that has the added benefit of being deliberate about your dependencies. To sum up, when needing to load images in recycler views with libraries that need context, such as Glide, it's much better to give the instantiated instance of the object than to pass context and have the adapter construct the object itself. And this applies to any other dependency of classes. Always make sure that you provide only what is needed and move slowly from there. Be really careful what you're passing in your objects. Final note, some people have pointed out that you can get context also from the image view, doing imageview.context as views in Android are a proxy to context. But I would not do that in this case. First of all, you have no guarantees on the type of context that you will get. Glide activity is different from Glide context. And also, this is still a violation of the law of Demeter, if you think about it. It's much better for long-term readability and maintainability to explicitly inject the dependencies than retrieving them from the inside. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you soon.